very confident in asserting that we won in the court of public opinion uh, and in terms of the hearts and minds of the voters in the city. People are saying that, that democracy is not a spectator sport. They want to be involved. They came here for the hearings. They signed petitions. They did the email. So this is very exciting uh, and an important moment in, in, in the life of the city. We have some big issues coming up and the kinds of forces that you saw, that we saw come together on the term limits fight uh, will certainly be there in the battle around the budget and other matters about to come. That's right. I, I want to give some credit where credit is due before I talk about this vote. Um, a couple weeks ago, the Working Families Party decided to get involved in this issue. And I, as someone who's been concerned about it since the mayor's first whisperings back in August, I can say very clearly, until the day the Working Families Party decided to get involved in this issue, I think it was going to be very, very hard to get the word out to the people of New York City uh, that their right to vote was being taken away. Uh, but the Working Families Party did something extraordinary here. They backed up democracy and supported democracy and took this issue to the people. I want you to remember, the reason you saw a poll yesterday, 89% of all New Yorkers wanted there to be a referendum is because not only did the good government groups and the local council members start speaking out, but first and foremost because the Working Families Party went out to the communities and engaged the people and started a debate at the grassroots. And you've seen how intense that debate got. As for today, I am profoundly disappointed. Uh, this was a bad process from start to finish. Um, we deserve better as a city. This is not what our democracy should look like. It's 2008 in the biggest, most sophisticated city in the United States of America, and what happened here was more reminiscent of a banana republic.